I've never beaten the Ender Dragon. I've been playing Minecraft since way before the dragon was introduced, so you'd think I'd be pretty good at the game, right? Wrong. Whenever I've played with friends, they just suit me up in as much armor as possible and kind of direct me into the corner to shoot arrows. But today, I've decided I've had enough. No longer would I chicken out as soon as I step into the nether. No longer would I cry as soon as the sun started to set. No longer would I die to dumb mistakes. Well, we'll work on that. Here's how I defeated the Ender Dragon for the first time. Also, I have the shirt that says W on it because we're gonna get a win today. Oh God, we spawn in a jungle. Oh, why, why can't I jump? I had spawned into a bamboo jungle, which I had never been in before, and I was immediately feeling optimistic about the run. What if I actually just like immediately get, like what if I actually speed run this and then the stream is just over? What if I get the world record? My first task, however, was to get out of there to a biome that would be easier to traverse. Darn it, I'm still in my stupid train conductor outfit. Oh well. I made a few tools and a boat, and after searching for pandas to no avail, I left. Eventually, I found myself in a dark oak forest, which was not ideal due to the amounts of mobs that spawn in the shade. Oops, skeleton. For normal players, this might not be an issue, but I am not the best fighter. Oh god, a zombie. Stay away from me. I have an axe. Ah. After waiting out the night on a tree, I continued on until I stumbled upon one of the most impressive craters I had ever seen. Oh, it's a meadow. That's why there are flowers. If you had fallen in the lava, I would have died laughing. Ugh. See, what is that? Why is that just there? Why is this just- oh. Whoa, that's like a crater. After creating possibly the ugliest house in existence, I explored the cave in hopes for some materials and learned that that was a bad idea. Oh god, oh god. I don't want to die, I'm too young to die. Get die already! Here we go. No! No, 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 no! Searching around the valley that my house sat in led me to a skeleton dungeon, which would end up being very useful later on. It's l literally a dungeon! What the heck? But this was no time to get sidetracked. My next task was to find diamonds and then get obsidian to build another portal. Diamonds! Hey! Only two. Pain. It's not as bad now, but like just the sound. Ooh, nice. Here we go, the moment of truth. Oh. Diamond pickaxe. We have a portal. The nether had always been the place where I had stopped in every previous playthrough attempt. Everything there wanted to kill me. Piglins. <coughs> ghasts. <coughs> skeletons. <coughs> lava. But I was determined to make it through the nether in one piece. Put on my boots. I need gold. And I need to not cry like a baby. Which I'm going to. This. Thankfully, I had spawned in a decent biome because if it had been the basalt one, I would have given up then and there. <gasps> Pig guys! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Come here. You want some gold, buddy? Yeah. After finding and trading with the piglins, my biggest task yet was to find the nether fortress and kill some blazes. <gasps> guys, look! Guys, look! I can't believe it. 
I can't believe it. We actually found one. Holy cow. I was about to give up, man. Oh, look at that. Okay, now we just gotta hope that this one has like a blaze spawner in it. Otherwise, if it doesn't, I'll be so sad. Oh, that's a blaze spawner. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay. Oh. Ugh. Okay, there's one. There's two. I have three. How many do I need? <sighs> we made it. I have a lot of blaze powder. I have 16 blaze powder. That is perfect. Picking up an extra blaze rod by accident would later prove itself to be the best thing that happened to me the whole run. Okay. We're back! I had done it. I had conquered the nether. But this feeling of accomplishment was soon overtaken by the fear of what was next. I had to go to the end and actually defeat the dragon. In preparation, I went to a nearby village to get food. With the help of my boyfriend in chat, I made a skeleton farm out of the spawner I'd found and farmed up arrows to use. And I made sure that all of my armor and tools were enchanted. It was time. Goodbye, hole. It was nice knowing you. Uh, goodbye, house. I had 14 eyes of ender, extra in case any broke along the way. First throw, and it broke. That's okay, I have more. Second throw, broken. No! Okay, now I only have 12, that's a little concerning. Third throw is okay, but the fourth throw broke again. It's going this way a little bit. I'm not sure what the odds of this happening were, but it sucked. Eventually, I did find my way into the stronghold, but with only 10 eyes of ender left. There's still a good chance that I would have enough, and I was gripping onto that hope because I did not want to go back to the nether. There it is. No! I didn't remember it in that moment, but I had picked up extra blaze powder in the nether, which meant I didn't have to go back to the fortress, but I did need more ender pearls. So back I went. I uh, don't want to get copyright claimed, so uh... <laughs> After that fiasco, it was finally time. I'll just let you watch. Once I go in there, there's no t turning back. What if I get- what if we get put out in the middle of nowhere? Okay. Please be underground. No! Oh. I thought it was just dropping me in the middle of nowhere. Okay, we are a little bit out in the void, but it's okay. We will dig across and dig up. Here it is, okay. Do I have good bow skills? No. Okay, let's try this one first. There we go. Okay. This one? A little bit higher. There we go. Oh god, he's right there. It, can't it, like, hit you really hard? There we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, holy cow. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Okay, I don't have the best water bucket skills. Oh, 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 sorry, I'm like leaning way up to my screen because I'm just like freaking out. Ow, ow! Am I gonna die from an enderman? Oh god. Now the now the dragon's gonna Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Darn it! I'm not good with the stinking bucket! Oh my god. Okay, I didn't I didn't die. 
Stupid Enderman! Okay, I'm getting, a little, I'm getting a little stressed. You gonna charge after me now? Aha! Ow. Oh god. Uh, I didn't have my bucket in my hand! I think this might be the end here. Okay, here it goes. There again. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, it's the little portal thingy. Wow. <laughs> and that was it. After over a decade of playing Minecraft, I had finally finished the game. I no longer felt like I had to sit on the sidelines while my friends fought the baddies. I wouldn't have to ask my boyfriend to kill a zombie for me anymore. I had found a new confidence that I never had before. I immediately went out to find an end city in the vast emptiness of the end. And I died with everything.